Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee with Polio Experts. We're here today with Dr. Urs Herzog, who's a long-time Rotarian, a polio eradicator, um, and he's also the Rotary National Programme Officer for Rotary Switzerland. We thought we'd take the opportunity of your presence in Geneva here today to ask you, um, why is polio eradication so important? Okay, thanks for the invitation for this coffee break. Uh, I think this activity is important because we want no more children paralyzed by this uh, incredible virus named polio. Uh, to be paralyzed is a, is a special thing. I have a proper experience. I was paralyzed in '56. Then we didn't have any vaccines in Switzerland yet. So I am happy to be here without any signs of polio on my, on my body, but in my mind, polio is all time present. And of course, Rotary has been the driving force behind the effort to eradicate polio from the very beginning. So the driving, the driving force is naturally that I, I had polio. I, I know what it means to be in a cage as a, as a victim of polio, on one side of the glass is my parents, on the other side of the glass is myself, without any possibility to shake hands, to give uh, uh, kisses, to... you're only alone. And this is deep in my heart when I heard about the activities around polio, that we have to do something at this moment Mm. Of, of solidarity doesn't touch others. And so why is it so important to eradicate polio fully? If you don't eradicate polio, we risk to have new polio cases in the world. And if we don't reach the goal zero, we risk 200,000 cases a year and we are at the same place where we are when we started in 95. So we really have to finish the job now? Yeah, we have finished the job now. So why do we need to spend a um, billion dollars every year when there's only 37 cases? Imagine the children we have to vaccinate. At a lot, so 450 million a year we have to vaccinate to prevent polio. And it's around the world. And if we don't do it around the world with our activities in the world, going from west to east, from north to south, we have no chance if we don't vaccinate everywhere where we have suspected cases. And I mean, at the moment, we still investigate over 100,000 cases of acute facet paralysis every year. And all of that takes up money and funds. Yes, we are able to do this because of these front workers mm. and because we have a, a, a strong network of labs where these cases may be detected, stool specimens, and out of these 100,000 we detected only 16. But it's really important to keep doing yeah, yeah, sure. Or, yeah, yeah, sure. AFP We have to do it. If we don't do it, we, we do the mistake of the centennial. So really, at this point, we can't back down and we can't roll back the program in any sense. We need to keep going until we've found every virus. I think so. And we are, we are strongly supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I think mm. what they have done in, in the early 2000s with the first $100 million challenge, they... Uh, got the goal to motivate Rotarians to give again. Oh, thank you so much for okay, offering, offering your, um, your experience, your expertise and your knowledge and your passion for polio eradication. Okay. No, it was a pleasure to be here. And join us next time for the next Coffee with Polio Experts. Thank you. Okay, thank you.